how to use toggle track to track your time hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can use toggle track to track your time and more so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to toggle.com and you will land right here on this platform toggle is all in one platform with toggle plan toggle track and toggle hire so we can track time with toggle track and we can actually uh, manage our team with toggle plan and toggle hire is to uh, find different jobs and candidates so we will be focusing on toggle track today toggle track is one of the very famous software for tracking time it really helps a lot of different people in business and freelancers to track their time while doing their work. Uh, we have all the right features and tools that we need in order to um, run a business on online using Toggle. Toggle helps us with the right tools and with the right options. Let's get started with Toggle. What you have to do is if you're completely new, you need to sign up, click on try Toggle and then select Toggle Track. It will take you to toggle.com slash track. Now you have to enter an email address and set up a reasonable password and click on sign up. Signing a process is completely free. After the initial sign up, this is where you will get or if you log into your Toggle Track. It's a very easy platform to use. Let me show you around we have timer right here so you can see this bar and this is where we can track time very easily i will just show you in a minute that how we can create a brand new task and track time then we have the reports right here in the analyze section and insights report and insight just give us a view that how many hours we have actually worked and what is the budget and how many hours we have actually worked and then in the manage section we have projects clients team and tags this is where we create different projects clients and team in order to track time let's move to manage section first and let's create a brand new project to track time for let's say that i am assigned a project to make videos right what i will do now is i will quickly go to projects right here and click on new project once you click on new project now i will give my project a name let's call it tsg videos all right now we have client in order to create a new client i can go to the client section right here or all you have to do is just enter the name let's go ahead and enter the name for my client that wants me to make the videos click on add new client and a brand new client will be added then we have the template and visibility so for visibility i'm just going to keep it to private once you click on create a brand new project will be created I can open it up and now I can actually check out the dashboard for this project. I can check out the task that I have created and my team members. I can add more members to my team, of course, and then we can also go ahead and add different tasks. To create a task into a project, click on add task and task name. I'm going to just call it task one. There you go. Next is clients. We have created a client just now click on new client and enter the client name click on create and a brand new client will be created similarly i'm going to create another client there you go in teams we can invite different team members of course and to invite click on invite members and enter their email address we can also create tags go to tag section click on new tag enter the tag name important click on create let's create another one so I have created different tags such as error, important, new, urgent, and similarly, I can go with completed. There you go. Now we have actually created a projects and everything. Let's go back to the timer. All you have to do is click on here. What are you working on? I can enter a brand new task. Let's call it new task. Now I can click on this file option and select a project. This is why I wanted to show you how to create a project first so that you will have an idea how to add a project. Click on the project, select it. If you want to create a brand new project right now, you can click on new project and it will allow you to create a new project right here. Don't worry about that if you have not created it before. So I'm going to select this one. Then we have the tags and I'm going to go ahead and add the task of new and important once i add the tag now they will be added here the next option is billable and unbillable hours so if this icon right here is purple and you see this purple icon right here it is billable 
But if I uncheck it, then this is unbillable and these hours will not be counted. I'm going to click on billable because I will be charging for this work. And now all you have to do is click on this button right here and your time will start tracking. This is how you can track time on toggle track. It's really easy. And now I can just go back to doing my work. We also get the time right here. You can see 13 or 14 seconds and it will help me go to other windows and tabs. I will be able to check the time from here very quickly. So this is how we simply track time. Now let's pause it. There you go. A new entry has been added here. If I want to pause this, I have paused this and let's resume it. Click on this button and the time will be tracking from here again. But the intervals will be two intervals because first I worked for 30 seconds and now I have again, you know, start tracking the time. Let's stop it again. There you go. The total time is 48 seconds and I can check the intervals from here. I can also check if it's a non billable R. Go to project pin as favorite deleted or copy the start link to send it to my client. So that is how we track time right here on toggle tracks. We can also go ahead and now go to reports in reports. It will actually show me that what I have done and you can see the total time I have worked is 48 seconds of the project that we just did the task and I can also get a pie chart and we can also check the amount right here. I can save my report or download it. We can get a summary or a detailed view. Then we have weekly and saved. We can also filter this by team, client, project, task, and billable arts and more. If we go to insights, then it will be able to show me the insights according to my billable hours. And you will be able to check all of your projects right here and your clients. Then we also have the subscription and integration option. I can go to integrations right here and it will allow me to integrate from hundreds to thousands of different applications and softwares. So I can integrate my Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, Asana, Toggle Plan, Adobe, whatever I want to. I could just go ahead and integrate. So integration actually helps us customize our Toggle Track experience. Then, of course, we have import and export option, mobile application, blog, jobs, and more. This is according to toggle plan, but we're focusing on toggle track. If I go to the settings option right here, it will allow me to change a bunch of different settings. I can set my billable and non-billable rate. So let's go ahead and add the rate right here. So I'm going to add 20 and the currency is going to be USD. So I will be paid $20 per hour. And this is the rate. I can change it for different projects if I want to. Then we have generals, alerts, reminders, reports, and data export. If I go to reminders, I can go ahead and add different reminders. Click on new reminder right here. Enter the team member. Select the time. Select the date. And then click on create reminder. And it will remind you for your projects and tasks. And this is how you can go ahead and manage your work very easily using toggle track. You will be able to track your time, get reports, create projects, clients, add integrations and more. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use toggle track to track your time. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.